Today we are going to talk about the possibility of xCloud on the Nintendo Switch right now. What's up guys, Luke back again with another video and today I wanna sort of do a what if with you guys. And as you probably know, in the recent years, Xbox and Nintendo have formed a bit of a business relationship with the Xbox games like Minecraft, Super Lucky's Tale, and more recently, the Ori games coming over to Switch and with Nintendo using cloud-based gaming on their platform to get ports of games that otherwise would have been unplayable on the platform, like Resident Evil 7 and the most recently announced Control Ultimate Edition and Hitman 3. It seems like xCloud on the Switch should happen sometime down the road. So today we're gonna do a little speculation and testing of xCloud and Xbox Remote Play on the actual Nintendo Switch. If you like theoretical video game videos, let me know by smashing like. But with that being said, let's get right into it. So Project xCloud and Remote Play, if you don't know already, is a streaming service from Xbox that they're currently in beta form with, uh, where you could basically take anything from the Game Pass library and stream it directly to your Android phone and hopefully soon, fingers crossed, iOS. There's also Remote Play where you can take basically any Android phone that's connected to uh, the same Wi-Fi as your Xbox and connect directly to your Xbox hardware, which unlocks the possibility of playing non-Game Pass games. So you'll have the ability to basically take your Android phone in any part of the room and any part of the world and play Xbox games on the go. Another thing to note about xCloud is it's included free with Game Pass Ultimate. So it doesn't cost anything extra really, and there's more things you can do with it. So right now in using xCloud, and remote play on my phone. The issue with it, in my opinion, is the screen. The screen is really, really small and who has tablets anymore? I, I mean, I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments below if I'm just crazy, but I don't see a whole lot of people rocking tablets these days. So we're dealing with screens that even on the biggest side are still sort of small as gaming consoles, especially just in displaying games that weren't designed to be on screens that small. And another thing to kind of note is you do need to carry around a separate sort of controller. Now, some of these controllers are really portable and, and they are pretty cool, but uh, you do have to lug that around with you already when you uh, intend to play xCloud. Now, there are the touch touchscreen sort of navigation controls, but in my opinion, I don't think those are very viable. Um, I've never liked uh, phone games because of the touchscreen controls. Um, now they do have different products like the 8-Bit Doe products that uh, actually have, uh, they've collaborated with Xbox to get a sort of portable uh, dual analog stick controller that uh, you can take with you on the go. So they are trying to solve these things, but it's still not a perfect science. But what if we could get a sneak peek as to what it would be like to run xCloud and Remote Play on the Nintendo Switch? There have been in recent months a new hack that basically puts the entirety of an Android OS onto the Nintendo Switch. But you need to have a Switch that was released in the beginning years of the console's life and you need to have special tools in order to hack your console. Man, if only I had those two things. Gosh.
experience using xCloud on the Switch for about a week now, I absolutely love it. Now, there are a few caveats with uh, setting this up. This is a sort of huge workaround that requires hacking and requires putting on an Android OS onto your Nintendo Switch, which is a little bit scary, I will admit. Uh, but once it's up and running, it works just like an Android phone. Uh, now there were some issues with uh, sound, a lot of, lot of uh, popping and cracking in the sound, but I think that's just attributed to this thing wasn't optimized and xCloud wasn't optimized to run on a hacked Nintendo Switch. So with a little tweaking and optimization, I think they would be able to get it way better than anything we have currently in the hacking scene. After using this, I have found that this is my favorite xCloud machine. It solves the screen issue with the screen being uh, too small with phones. Uh, you get a nice size screen with this. Um, it also does dock and that's really cool too. Uh, unlocking more possibilities. If you have Xboxes in different locations, you can uh, connect this into say another room and play your Xbox in another room. If the family is in the front room, watching a movie, something like that it really does open a lot of possibilities. So uh, in my opinion, I think that this would be an amazing uh, collaboration between Xbox and Nintendo. Now that's all good and well, but could this actually happen? Could we actually see Nintendo and Xbox come together and do some sort of game pass and Xbox remote play on the Nintendo Switch? Um, I think it would benefit both companies to do this monetarily, as well as just for their uh, their player base, which definitely comes second fiddle with a lot of these companies. But I do believe that they could structure a deal where it would make sense for both sides. And uh, we've actually seen this happen a lot with Xbox, especially with uh, the recent collaboration that they're doing right now with EA, with EA Play being grafted into Game Pass. I don't think we'll ever see Mario playing on an Xbox console, but they could somehow do some sort of collaboration where Nintendo gets a kickback of every single app that gets downloaded onto their system. I also feel like it is a uh, just the next step in Xbox and Nintendo's relationship. And we've seen many, many times that Xbox and Phil Spencer uh, admire Nintendo in a lot of ways, and, and they don't necessarily see see them as a competitor. They are technically a competitor, but they definitely market to a totally different demographic. So putting those together, I don't think would harm either company. And I think it would be a great uh, step forward. Xbox is kind of on the forefront of breaking down those walls and not looking at any at each other as much as competitors, uh, more looking at each other as partners moving forward in this awesome genre of gaming. I love the Nintendo Switch, if you haven't been able to tell. Its versatility is groundbreaking. The ability to play it in every scenario imaginable, whether at home, on the go, or out with friends, is incredible. I think in a lot of ways, the mission of xCloud with Xbox is trying to achieve a lot of the same things. This would not be the first time that Xbox and Nintendo have collaborated. Also, it seems like both companies could structure a deal where both are benefiting by the collaboration. Time will tell if this actually happens, but in the meantime, it's a really fun thing to speculate about. But that's gonna do it for this one, guys. If you got value out of this video, do me a favor and smash like, as well as subscribe with bell notifications turned on for more videos just like this. Also, I'd love to hear from you. Do you think we, we will see xCloud on Switch? Let me know in the comments below. And lastly, if you wanna help me sustain this channel, check out our Patreon, link in the description below. But until next time, guys, Luke from 8-Bit Plus signing out, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.